Oh my god, it is noon. I slept till noon today. I was up so late last night playing Skyrim. But this is day number three of trying to live on one dollar a day. We have some bread left, and that's it. I ate everything else. So we need to go to the store. I think I want to see if I can find a way to get like an energy drink or something, because I am, I'm getting like caffeine headaches. I need, I need something. While we're on the topic of like saving money and shit, I've got my laptop and my phone, my cryptocurrency right now. It's only like, I don't know, a couple cents a day, but making that bank. My goal at the end of this is to take all of the cryptocurrency that I mine over the course of this challenge and then take that and spend it and just go splurge cryptocurrency because now I've got that new Coinbase wallet. The weather here in Georgia is honestly kind of wild. Yesterday it was freezing outside, but today it's bright and sunny. So let's go. Yeah, like yesterday I took all of my curtains and I wrapped them around my heater to try to funnel heat into the building because it was so cold last night. But now it's just like, oh, nope, that never happened. It's sunny. When I first got here, I was under the impression that the reason that Georgia was so cheap in comparison to other Western countries was because it was cold. I'm like, oh, well, yeah, it's probably the winters. That's why nobody wants to go there. But no, now that I've been here and I've seen that it's actually not that cold, I've learned that the reason it's cheap here is because of its proximity to Russia. Apparently, there's a new game going around right now called Elden Scrolls. Uh, it looks just like Skyrim, actually. Yeah, look at that. It's sitting there mining. Okay, we're done with that, though. If we take a look at the food that we have left, we can see that we have, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a loaf there, and probably like two tenths of a loaf here. So we just have bread. As good as the yogurt and bread tastes, I don't think it's actually doing us any justice, because the yogurt takes up, I don't know, like a third of our daily budget, and I finish it in seven minutes. So I think that we need to focus on breads and pastas. I have been locked up in my apartment for a couple days now. I want to go explore. I haven't gone exploring so far because this area of the neighborhood kind of seems a little bit sketchy and I don't want to get robbed again. So I've made sure that I am not carrying anything valuable at all. So just my phone right here. Worst case scenario, I lose a phone, I think. I'm not sure why I feel like it's kind of shady. It just, just feels that way. I came back, I got sketched out. There's like a group of people that were just sitting there hanging around the counter. Like they were sitting on the corner and they were just like hanging around talking to each other. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that. But just like seeing them just like made me recoil. I'm considering not even posting any of that in the video because I've noticed that I have a tendency to be able to predict the future. Where like two weeks before it happens, I will make, I, I will notice something in the world and make a video about it. And then two weeks later, people will run back to that video because I got robbed or I got mugged or whatever. And they'll run back and they'll be like, oh, you called it, you called it. So if I just don't post this video... I could have never called it and I won't get robbed. I think that's how that works. I'm keeping my passport locked in my room regardless because we all know that if bad stuff does happen with Russia, I definitely need to have this. It is official. We are out of bread. Going to go to the store and get more. I'm honestly not sure why I'm so paranoid about this neighborhood. I really hope it's unfounded. Another reason that this neighborhood is strange to me, this grocery store that we're at, it is like the only store around here. Everything else is just residential urban areas. I think we're gonna try corn today. This is roughly a dollar. We have a dollar 19 cents left, so yeah. Oh, and it's got one of those pop tans, so I don't need a can opener for it, good. This was a dollar and two cents. So we have 17 cents left because of the money that we saved on the first day. But I'm from Iowa, which is essentially the corn capital of America. I'm excited to see how this stacks up to the stuff that we grow. Now, I'm not really fond of the idea of eating cold corn. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this with hot water and then we're gonna like let this sit in there and we're gonna see if we can heat up our corn like that. This thing is coming in so much handy. Let's go fill it up. I am not going to worry about taking the wrapper off of the tin can. I'm sure that'll come off the boiling water. Now that's going to cool down really quickly because there's a lot of surface area acting on the water. So we're going to need to keep refilling it. I'm going to not turn this off. I'm just going to leave this on. I'm going to see if it turns itself off. I heard in the comments of my last video that once this starts boiling, this switch will flip itself. So we'll find out. I did consider the idea of just taking the can of corn and sticking it in the kettle itself, but I don't think the lid is wide enough to be able to put it in and take it out, especially if it's hot. So. We've got to do it this way. Oh, hey, look at that. It did turn itself off, like, almost exactly as soon as it started boiling. That's crazy. How did it know that it was boiling? Is there, like, a thermometer in there? This is going to be hard to do with one hand while I film, but let's go empty out this water and stick some new hot water in here. Let's 
Let's go save ourselves some warm corn. Um, the fact that I can touch it's not that encouraging, but it's definitely warmer than it was earlier. So let's give this a shot. I made sure to get one with this little pop top because, oh, I need to be careful because this is full of like liquid. I don't want to spill liquid everywhere. God. Open up, you, oh my God. Okay, we're gonna try using my tool again. Apparently here in Georgia, they use tougher tin than we use in America. I cannot physically open this with my hand. So we're gonna take the spoon, we're gonna dig it in this little hole, and then we're gonna try to pull it up from there. Tougher tin, would have never thought that would be one of the differences. Oh, there we go, it's coming up. It's coming up. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's give it a shot. Mmm. It is really warm. This was a good idea. Mm. Mm. I have pepper too. I'm gonna add some pepper to this. I don't like that this was a this was a dollar. This was more expensive than I would have liked my canned food to be. But all in all, it's a good meal. I think that we are gonna need to stick to bread going forward. Mm. I used too much pepper, damn it. That was spicy. So it just dawned on me that that was my only meal for today. We don't have any leftover bread or yogurt, so I don't get to eat anything anymore. Damn it. I saw the corn and I got excited. Damn it. I just want to say, because I'm sure that there are people going to be complaining that I'm using these things to mine cryptocurrency and it's basically worthless. It is really cold in my room. I happen to do like crazy ass shit to get my radiator heat in here. This adds heat. This is like, this is hot. My laptop is kind of toasty. My phones are toasty. This is, this is heat that I'm getting in my room. I actually also have... Just a sec. I could just like turn this on. So if I get really cold, I do have options. I do have options. Um, I super definitely just heard gunshots. I really should not post this video. I'm going, I'm gonna die here. Literally just by talking about this in a video, I'm gonna manifest it. Today, we do not have a sponsor. Surfshark, they only wanted to sponsor one video because they wanted to like see how well it was gonna work. They wanna see how many people click the link. It's not just clicking the link. They wanna see how many customers I am able to bring to them. So if that one does well, they will consider sponsoring more videos in the future. I don't think that they're gonna sponsor daily posts because that would be really expensive for them. But they paid me $100 for that video yesterday. So that was a pretty profitable video. I'm happy, $100 for that, that's pretty good. I still make a lot more money on my TikTok sponsorships, but my audience is much larger there too. So. Um, got a card here. If you guys want to watch tomorrow's Living on a Dollar episode.